Hockey 605. We're here with Brett Baxter, center for the Des Moines Junior Buccaneers. You guys came in here and meant business, didn't you? Yeah. Now, the first game didn't go, go quite the way you planned, did it? No. But every game after that, you guys just seemed to get better and better. What, what was the, the difference for you guys? Um, we just start moving the puck and sc scoring on our chances. And is moving the puck important to, to creating those chances? Yes. It, it really makes a difference, doesn't it? Usually the team that passes the best is the one that prevails, right? Yeah. So, Brett, how long have you been playing hockey? Um, since I was four. Wow. Um, I imagine you were skating a little bit before that? Yeah. What made you decide you wanted to play hockey? Um, well, my dad played, and it just looked very interesting and fun. Does your dad still play? Uh, no. No, he just watches you play? Yeah. Does he give you tips and pointers? Sometimes. Does he give you tips and pointers even when you don't ask for him? Yeah. Yeah, dads do that, don't they? Yeah. Well, you know what we used to do at our house? We had what we called the 24-hour rule. No tips or pointers for 24 hours after the game. What do you think of that idea? Pretty good. <laughs> so what do you like best, Brett, about playing hockey? Well, it's really fast moving. It doesn't really stop, and there's some contact. And uh, now next year you guys will have contact, right? Yeah. A lot more of it. What do you think about that? Are you looking forward to that? Or? Yeah. You want to be able to check? Yeah. Do you want to be checked? No. <laughs> I guess you, you better take that part if you want to dish it out, right? Yeah. Now, I know you guys um, have next weekend off, right? Yeah. And then you have some friendlies. Who are your friendlies with? Um, Omaha. Do you play them quite often? Uh, we've played them a couple times, like three times this year already. And how, does, how do those games usually go for you guys? We've beat them pretty bad both times, but one of the times we didn't play too good, and they beat us by, like, one goal. Well, and every time they play you guys, they're getting better, aren't they? Yep. So you're going to have to keep picking up your game? Yep. What, do you, what can you do to during the off season if you have an off season what do you do to to work on your game um just go on the driveway and shoot and like rollerblade stuff like that oh that really helps rollerblading probably helps build those muscles right yeah now does your mom let you shoot the puck in the house no well in knee hockey but not real pucks in knee hockey what's knee hockey um well it's hockey that you play on your knees with like small nets and small sticks. Really? That's good. Maybe you can get a video of you playing some knee hockey with your teammates and send it to us. Would you do that? Sure. Because I don't know what it is and I really want to see it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for taking time with us at Hockey 605. Congratulations on a, on a great championship and a great tournament. Next time you're up here, you'll have to check in with us and let us know how things are going, will you? Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.